We begin with new details about the murder of nine year old in Skokie. We're learning the little boy and his younger brother were targeted in what police are calling an act of revenge. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas first broke this story earlier today, and he joins us now live from Skokie. Tim, this is, is troubling on a number of levels. Joe and Dana, police now believe that the suspects in this case, the shooters in this case, wanted revenge for another shooting from last summer. Investigators say it was a planned and calculated crime that ended with a nine year old dead and a six year old wounded. Prosecutors describe it as a hailstorm of bullets. 35 shots fired into this home in Skokie on May 14th. Nine year old Jeremiah Ellis suffered 11 gunshot wounds to his body, and his brother was shot in the foot. I relive it every day since then. Jeremiah's grandmother described how she heard gunshots in her home, then dropped to the floor to try to save Jeremiah. My arm tucked under him, and I felt blood from through my, going through my fingers. I started yelling, call the police, call the police. Investigators say the shooters are 22 year old Christian Anderson and 16 year old Richard Banks. They're also accused of casing the house before the shooting, along with a woman named Tamisha Clark. The family of the children told police that Clark was the girlfriend of a man killed in an expressway shooting in August. Investigators believe the Skokie shooting was in retaliation for that, and Clark helped plan it. Neither police nor Jeremiah's family would go into further details about why the suspects targeted this house, but the family did say they've been threatened. They knew that we was in that house as a family, and they, they've been putting threats on our life for the last, since, since August, since August the 23rd. They've been putting threats on our life for an incident that did not involve us at all. Detectives say at some point prior to the Skokie shooting, Clark even posted to Snapchat, I'll smoke you and your kids. Yeah, expletive, I said your kids. All three suspects have been arrested and charged with murder. Prosecutors say after the shooting, Anderson texted Clark and asked if the gun had been wiped down. She replied that she would as soon as she got home, adding that she would use bleach. And a relative of those boys told us today that the victim of that expressway shooting is actually related to Jeremiah. And another thing we learned today, one of the suspects accused of killing young Jeremiah was just sentenced in March to 30 days of home confinement and 18 months probation for a separate case. That was an armed robbery. Live in Skokie, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.